But Kelvin, the, the testimonial is, is nearly upon us now. I guess the, the big question that everybody wants the answer to is, will this be your last game in a, a Southampton shirt and indeed your, your last game as a player? Um, yeah, I think that the bottom line is um, out of contract in the summer. Um, and it's time for me to uh, to take that next step, if you like. And um, yeah, the answer is, is simple. It will be my last game. Uh, the reason why I'm stalling is because I'm I'm thinking maybe there's another testimony testimonial in the future that I I might get to play in uh, representing somebody for somebody else. So um, you never say never. But um, as far as I'm concerned, the uh, it will be uh, my, my last performance in a, in a Saints shirt. Yeah. How, how tough a decision is that to make? Um, well, obviously the decision um, is easier to make when, when I'm at the stage of life that I am. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still in my 30s, but uh, only just. And obviously for any, any professional athlete to, to perform at that level, um, age catches up and I suppose, um, as well as that, the club has grown so so sufficiently now that um, you know the, the the opportunities to me are, are um, you know, slim and, and, and far between. So um, it's it's just a it's an it's it's the timing really. I think is is the right time. Um, you know, I'm sure that uh, physically I feel I can continue doing what I've done this season for another season. Um, but I think the uh, the fact that it's come at the end of the 10 years, the fact that where we are as a club right now, um, it feels right that uh, you know, not attempting to, to push an, another season um, and just take that, that brave step and, and say that's it. So what, what does the future hold for you? Well, I, I like to think that um, I'm still going to be here. Um, I feel that I've got... Uh, Know, a lot, a lot to offer in, in terms of passion and, and commitment to the club, um, and, and hopefully uh, we can come up with the right, the right role that uh, that fits, you know, my my skills, if you like, and, and um, can help push the club in the direction it's going. Yeah, I sense it would be a very big thing, important thing for you if you could remain involved with this club. Yeah, I, I that is my first. Um, my mindset is that it will always I'll attempt to do that first of all, and we are in, in you know good discussions. It's it's, it's been uh, you know, very there's been very good conversations you know for for months now um, that you know the Les Reed and, and and the club are are happy for me to stay on, and obviously conversation with Ronald as well. Um, it's just finding that right position to to suit me. Um, and the club, of course, um, and you know, for for whatever reason, if it was a if it was a situation that you know we, we couldn't find you know, common ground on that, then then I would look to uh, you know continue playing um, you know, probably at a lower level. But you know, while every when you get to this stage, I speak you know you, you naturally speak to other people and, and look for other 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 people's advice, and you know everyone say so yeah, ninety five percent of Ex players are, are say, you know, play as long as you can. Um, you know, I have worries or concerns of doing that. Um, obviously, first of all, it's a, the club's a big tie to me. I'm happy here and happy, uh, the family are happy, and, you know, that's always been important to me. Um, so it's really um, what would be the big uh, driving force to pull me away. Playing at a, a lower level. That wouldn't, um, you know, that wouldn't bother me. Football's football, and, and I enjoy playing. And, and I think that I can still contribute and help, you know, at, at whatever club I was to go to, if, if that was the case. So, um, but hand on heart, I'm giving all my focus and, and everything I can do to to be part of this football club next season. And looking ahead to the testimonial, just how much are you looking forward to that? Honestly, um, it's a strange, real strange feeling. Um, very difficult to explain. And, and the only way I, I can explain it, and I've said this probably five or six times now leading up to, to, to the evening, um, it's almost like 
you, you know you've got a, a surprise party to go to and it's your surprise party but you know about it and it's, it feels awkward that people are there to support me. Um, but when I think when I think hard about it, I, I see it more uh, as a celebration of, of what, what the club's achieved. Um, I feel that uh, you know the, the the guys that turn up for the evening to, to, to watch a, watch the game will will be there to support you know not just myself but also the the lads that were in the, the League One and, and, and Championship promotions and, and for me still a massive part of this football club uh, um, to they're the guys that kind of put us on the right head in and, and uh, got that winning mentality that's been managed to to continue through um, even to the last game against Tottenham where you know, that, that them sort of performances that I think as um, from from the early League One days and, and from the Paint Trophy celebrations, just that winning feeling and that uh, that mentality to to be to be winners. I think started uh, started in League One and um, okay, you know, only Jose's uh, out there representing that now, but um, I do feel that that uh, is why you know a lot of people should be uh, appreciative of of, of the guys. That you know, in the in the promotions eleven team on on Tuesday night, it will, it will be nice for you and and a lot of the fans as well to rekindle some of those memories as well, won't it? I hope so. Um, you know, you, we already know uh, what the dressing room is going to be like before the game. That'll uh, you know that that never changes. Um, and obviously, Ricky was at the 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 Man City game, um, talking about his half time. Uh, I don't know how to describe that. That's uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty big. So, um, you know, having conversations with with Ricky and and the guys I still speak, you know, most weeks to you know Dan Hardins and and, and Danny Butterfields and guys like that. That um, they still are so passionate about the football club, um, and they still. You know, Probably look for. In fact, I know they look for our results before, for any others in the league, and, and that's what this club does to 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 ex uh, ex Saints. I think um, there's something very special that 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 keeps you uh, keeps you keeps the club in in your heart. And I think, um, as I say, for for Ricky to to come back and experience that feeling one more time, I think it's an amazing thing.